All right, you guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Noble Ella Show. Um, you guys can get our new line. We have a new line, you guys, called Conscious Clothing, so you can get our merch there. So I'll put the link to all of this in the description below. Roses, you guys, because I'm a rose. All right, so you can get all of our uh, American Indian Lodeo Title Morris American National stuff here and our book and a whole bunch of stuff from mugs to glasses to pillows to bath towels you name it um, you guys can join us on our website you can join our email group welcome to the new subscribers and the new people on the email group you can join our online tutor school class you can join our youtube channels noble l noble l the second uh, you can also write to us for a private email consultation we will answer your questions now you guys over on boon tv um yeah so we're just going to briefly uh, discuss some stuff that was just sent to us. Shocking, you guys. Uh, you, fi you guys find these videos entertaining or helpful or wish to contribute to us, you can go to PayPal at themullings.gmail.com. And thank you to each and every one of you for your support to us here. Um, discovery. Um, so last time I was talking about our remedies in law. Now they just sent us this one. You guys remember Dr. Sebi? Dr. Sebi, there's um, this little posting here. I'm going to see if I can put this in the description below. And it's talking about the rhythm, the laws of eating. Let me see. Let me read it properly. Eating in laws of rhythm, right? And they're saying at between 5 a.m. and 12 noon, we're supposed to eat herbs and vegetables. Um, 12 to 3 p.m., we have a salad. And then from like 3 to 8 p.m., we'll have nuts. And I guess the supper's there. You guys know I do everything backwards, eh? So everything that's posted here, I do the exact opposite for years. We eat our heavily heaviest heaviest meal at breakfast, um, usually with fruit or like a smoothie. Um, we'll have maybe a sandwich or something at lunch, and then light stuff at dinner time, fruits and whatever else. Um, sometimes I might make um something to have with some tea or something there, like maybe um fritter or something an apple fritter or something but for the most part we do everything backwards <laughs> so i thought that was interesting but here's what i want to discuss with you guys today now right you guys remember we saw I'm not gonna cry we saw all these buildings growing up right that they had claimed were churches all of us went to these big churches i was talking to you about if you went over to our video on boone i was talking to you about the church that i grew up in and um yeah i was talking about the stained glass windows and all this wonderful stuff right only to find out, you guys, what's the significance in these stars that we see. Apparently, if you have, um, yeah, if you're up high enough, a lot of these stars are all over the world, right? Uh, they said the most pronounced one is in Paris. And um, what do these stars mean? What do these buildings mean? What is this all about, right? Then you see, um, remember I was telling you guys I watch um, a lot of movies and Harry Potter. Um, obviously, it was trying to tell us something with these, uh, what is this, Griffin? This is a mix between an eagle and a lion. Um, what does the eagle signify? Why is it so important? Why do they, does it always show up on these buildings, right? What's the lion signify? What is that about? What were they trying to tell us? Because remember, they did everything in symbols. Our ancestors left everything for us. We didn't know, and it was taken and done some stuff with it. You guys don't even want to know? So, and what, yeah, and these buildings, what they turned into churches, and they said that there was all these denominations. This cross, and I know they told us a story about Yeshua, and this crescent moon, why is it so significant? They were telling us at one point that 70% of the land mass, which is supposed to be flat earth, we were taught that the round was, the earth was round, um, and we always see this crescent moon on the top of these buildings, right? What does it mean? That's the question. And so they showed us these buildings and on the top of these buildings, you will see the crescent moon and sometimes a cross. Then they put all these stained glass windows in these buildings, right? What does all this stuff mean, you guys? Then, um, yeah, they, <sighs> you could hear I wanna cry, right? Then they had these organs. Remember those organs, those old time organs? I don't even know if we've actually seen a real ancient organ. But I grew up in a church where they had those old-time organs. What does that all mean? What is it about? Then the gardens that were at these castles and these 
um, baptismal basins that they had in these buildings that all of us, a lot of us went and got baptized, not knowing what those basins were for, right? Then we were told about the underground pools and the waterways that were underground and uh, adjacent to a lot of these castles, these, that's not even the correct name. And then we were taught about the building in Florence, which is supposed to be that, <clears throat> that building is supposed to have one of the most incredible, um, the Florence Cathedral. The Florence Cathedral um, has on it um, the largest, and I'm not even going to say it here, you guys. You guys want to know the fullness of this whole thing that's been kept secret from us? You know where to find us, you guys. Because I'm so not going to go into it here because there's so much more to share. And then what's the story with all the orphans? Why was there all these movies relating and, and plays relating to orphans, Orphan Annie? You can go back to all these books that we're talking about orphans. What was going on there? What was it about, you guys? All right, you guys, like, share, subscribe. Um, meet me over by Boone TV. We just uploaded over there, so you can go there now and find out what all this stuff was about. Um, yeah, want to cry? Probably going to cry at some point today because it's... You can hear it in my voice, right? So, have yourself a great day, you guys. And thank you for watching.